another month has come to an end and it's time for me. Like, why is, why is the focus jumping to the plant? Can it not see a difference between my face and the plant? Another month has come to an end and it's time to me to go through all the things that I have learned in the month of March. For those of you who don't know, I have a New Year's resolution to learn something new every single day and those things I document in my little field notes book. It looks uh, like this. Ooh, so much stuff I've learned, oh my god. And today I'm gonna go through the month of March for you guys. However, this month is a little bit special because I'm filming this video before the month is up because I am going traveling, so I need to prepare a little bit. And the video is also sponsored by Skillshare, which is a website where you can take online courses and learn pretty much anything you want. And I thought that the last five days that I have not yet filled in, we are going to learn five new things from Skillshare. So at the end of this video I'll go on to that site and we'll together learn five new things through the courses that they offer. So I wondered why the heck some weeks, for some people in some cultures and countries or whatever, the week starts on Sunday. For me that's ridiculous and really really stupid so I had to look up why the heck does the week start on a Sunday? And that is because it's the day of the sun and apparently the first thing God said was let there be light, so that's why it's the first day or something of the sorts. It has a religious reason anyway. And in Sweden, the week starts on Monday. We had a discussion at work about uh, melted cheese versus non-melted cheese and which is healthier or if there's a difference at all. And Cheese is only unhealthy or melted if you burn crust or process it at a really high temperature because it results in saturated fats that are bad for you. Edge rank is what Facebook uses to determine what posts get shown to who, basically. Who gets to see the posts that are posted and which posts get shown more than others. That's what edge rank determines. Another fact is that only 6% of your page likes on Facebook, if you have a page like I do, sees your posts. No matter what you do, only 6% sees them. And that kind of sucks, but at least the positive thing is that those 6% are made up by the people who interact with the site the most. So if you don't really care about my content, then you won't see it as often as people who actually like and comment and share stuff. Spring rolls are actually called spring rolls because they're consumed at a spring festival in China. Ad hoc or ad hook or whatever way you pronounce it is Latin for, for this. And the official language in Ca Cape Verde, I don't know how to say Cap Verde in English. Cape Verde, Cap Verde. It's Portuguese anyway. Apparently, grunka in Swedish is also a synonym for thing or small thing or gadget or whatever. Not gadget, but like bits and bobs thingy. Um, I had never heard that in my life and people were extremely, extremely offended that I said that grunka means that you cry and masturbate at the same time. Um, why people take that so personally, I will never, ever, ever in my life understand. But I very, very, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize to all of you who are offended by me saying that grunka means cry, masturbate. Because, I mean, it does, it's slang for it, but apparently it means thing as well. So you're welcome, all Swedish people who cry yourself to sleep over this. Now we have the truth. So Thomas Edison is actually credited with, like, making hello the appropriate response to a telephone ringing or, like, the proper way to greet someone on the phone because his competitor, Alexander Graham Bell, he wanted the appropriate greeting phrase to be ahoy. Over 90% of the iceberg's mass is below the surface. In total area, Alaska is actually the largest state. I, among with probably a few other people, thought that Texas was the largest state, but Alaska is actually larger. A cricket has its ears on its front legs. You should absolutely, under no circumstances, keep onions and potatoes close to each other. You should not store them close to each other because they give off gases that actually accelerate the spoilage of each other. 
The White House officially got its name in 1901 by Theo Roosevelt. A judge can actually overrule a guilty verdict from a jury. However, if the jury finds the the person not guilty, the judge can only order a new trial. The Great Pyramid of Giza, I think that's how you say it, Giza, is the only of the seven wonders of the ancient world still standing. On an average, blonde people, like moi, have about 150,000 hairs, while gingers, or redheads, have an average of 90,000 hairs. There's a plant in Mexico called the Chocolate Cosmos, which actually smells like chocolate, and I really want to smell that flower or plant or whatever it is. New Zealand was the last country to ever be discovered. The salted caramel latte at Espresso House in Sweden is way too fucking sweet and too fucking expensive. It's like this big, and it costs like five bucks for a coffee that tastes like sweet. Ugh. Apparently, only one to two percent of the world's population has red hair. And I really never got this whole like make fun of redheads thing in the world. Like they are freaking unique. We should be envious of them. Hippos actually produce their own sunscreen through their skin. Africa, South America, and Antarctica are the only continents to never ever have hosted an Olympic Games. Which is not so surprising in regards to Antarctica, because why the hell would they host an Olympic game? Paper cuts hurt so damn bad because the shallow cut often doesn't bleed, and that leaves the pain receptors in the skin open to air, which ensures continued pain for longer. So if your paper cut bleeds, it actually hurts for a less amount of time. And of course, this month wouldn't be complete without another mountain fact, and that is that the second highest mountain in the world, K2, that we have established in the previous videos, is only 237 meters lower, shorter, whatever you say, uh, compared to Mount Everest. So these were all the facts for now. Sadly, I can't film the second part of this video here in my office because I don't have Wi-Fi that works for that. So when I snap my fingers, we will be back home in the old location. Okay, everyone, here we are. This is the Skillshare page, and this is basically what it looks like. It has uh, a bunch of classes. That's what they have. <laughs> so this is a online learning community, and there are actually more than 15,000 different classes, so I think we should be able to find five new things to learn. A premium account on this page costs $10 per month, but if you want to try it out, and if you like me like learning new things, um, you can get two months free with the code that I have linked in the description below. And you do have to sign up your credit card, but you can absolutely just cancel it before those two months are up, and then it won't charge you anything. So two months free if you want to try it out. Okay, I actually found something that I wanted to learn. Uh, how to make homemade marshmallows. This video is 16 minutes long, so I might uh, fast forward a little bit, but here you can get an idea of what a class looks like. Here you have the introduction, uh, class details, lesson one, two, three, four. And if you're wondering why I am, uh, I am filming like this rather than filming the actual screen, it's because I think filming the screen is so boring, so I'd rather literally film the screen. I think it gives a more, I don't know, interesting look to it. Okay, so real quickly, ingredients for marshmallows. You have two cups of sugar, one cup of powdered sugar, three of these little one ounce packets of gelatin, and one teaspoon of vanilla. You're going to put a cup of water in your bowl. You're going to take those three packets of gelatin and you're going to sprinkle it over that water. Seems like a lot for just a half a cup of water, but two cups of sugar. This drips right off of there, it's super thin. Kind of spread it around the pan. Okay, now we know how to make marshmallows. As you can see, a lot of these are really long, like improve your PowerPoint and design skills. Great lecture, but it's three hours, 44 minutes, so I won't be able to learn that now. Hello guys, first of all, thank you very much for watching from this uh, pop-up window that 
That's really cool. You can like choose if you want to make a Twitter cover, Facebook cover, YouTube cover, and they're all already put in there. Appeared in front of us on the screen right now. You can scroll through them and select the one that we like. This is really good. This is exactly what my mom needs. Okay, so this is going to be one of the things I learn. I will go through this page, gravit.io, after this video because this seems like really, really nice. A really, really nice program. I mean, as you probably understand, a lot of these courses are very long. And that's a good thing, in my opinion. It's really, really good. It's just that it's difficult for me to find something that works for this video now. Because um, honestly, I would probably spend hours on this site just learning things. And then I would take a small part of that learning and put it in the book. And then later in the month, put it in the video. So now you just get to see the little process it takes for me to find the things that I actually learn and then share, share with you guys. Hi there, and welcome to organizing your life with Asana. And you can hit enter to add another task. This is also great for anyone who wants to start a YouTube channel but don't, doesn't know where to start really. Like video production, the complete course, DSLR video for beginners, uh, learn video editing with Premiere Pro for beginners. This is the program I use. Get started creating video, video content with your smartphone for bloggers, small businesses, and brands. No, this is too advanced. Hi, my name is Mark Versace. Yeah, Mark. <laughs> and you need to cut between takes. Well, you have to add a transition. In this video, I want to talk about Twitter. I already know this, Simon. Who we are. Skillshare is an online learning community where anyone can discover, take, or even teach a class. That's a good tip for you guys if you have skills, which I know that you have. You can actually create your own classes on this site. Brian, can you make a coloring book? And I was like, uh, I, think, I think so. And then I went home and I was like, I have no idea how to make a coloring book. So, this is Skillshare. I hope you enjoyed this little part of the video. I. I mean, obviously it's difficult to learn five specific things because the courses are so long, but this is definitely a really good page for learning new things. And especially if there's something specific that you want to learn, check it out. Two months free, as I said. And now let's go back to the office. And now we're back in the office again, just to end this video. I hope you have liked it. And don't forget to check out Skillshare in the link below in the description. And... Uh, yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you look forward to next month's Learn Something New video. Until next time, have a super duper good one. I will see you later. <laughs> Goodbye.